it's not near as loud. It's a lot more subtle. Mm -mm. For how small it is, too, it's super heavy. That it came out of bass. Hmm. Actually, they only sell that color on and Monster Bass. We're doing bass. a Monster Bass review. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Wait. I feel like somebody's watching. Oh, me. hey there. I didn't see you there. What? Wow. Did you see him? Nope. He didn't. I didn't. What a coincidence is that you're here, actually, because we were just talking about this. This came out of a Monster Bass box, and we're doing a Monster Bass bag, bag breakdown. breakdown. To you. To Monster Bass. I love apple juice. Mm -hmm. I'm really... Uh, Are we going to do a redo? That sucks, yeah? Because... Oh, I see why. To you. To, to Monster Bass. bass. I love apple juice. Let's get right into it, guys. The Monster Bass bag. And the bag is back. No longer a box. They don't do bags during the winter time because I guess up north the bags get destroyed when it gets cold. We're in Tennessee, so we don't have that problem. So this month's box, interesting. I got this one. Because I've never done it before. The Carolina rig. Me either. That is so cool. So. No, I've not ever done it. You've got different lessons, obviously. The history of Carolina rigging. Lesson one, Carolina reading basics. Lesson two is gonna be advanced Carolina, oh no, sorry. Dragging shell bars with a Carolina rig. So interesting to me. Oh, I will actually read this and get be a bit better angler for it because I've never Carolina rigged. Um, lesson three, intro to square billing. Square bill. Hello. Square bill. Hello. Lesson four. Worming a crankbait through cover. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's a seeker in this box. There might be. Lesson five. I love seekers. Jerk bait cadence techniques. So there's a jerk bait in here. But it's a vision jerk bait. Probably. And uh Epic Eric's bait hack. Who's Aaron in the spotlight for? I don't know who Eric is. Maybe he's a beast. I don't know. Anyways, we'll let you start this off. You go ahead and reach yourself on. Okay, I know what I'm going for. Blam. Oh no, dude, oh. that's sick. Oh, can I take it out? I love arc baits. Yeah, hang on one second. Okay. I love arc baits, dude. Mm -hmm. The CT57. Yeah. Wait, did you say seven? Does that not say seven? Okay, yeah, I got seven. CT57. Seven. Pop her out of there. Pop her out. Yeah, no, freaking Slip art baits up. are amazing. I love art baits. Yes. The, they're lipless. Both of them. They've got two. What's the one? Z. What's the one? Oh, gosh. Project Z. No, that's it. That's Z, man. Um, I can't think of it, but both they have like... I love their lipless crankbait. They have a $15 yeah. one that's a little bit more high grade. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then they've got the... Uh, they got the one just below it, but... Oh, looking, dude. Again, with the shifting The weight. Z63. That's what it's called. Okay. Lipless Z63. Yeah, these... I mean... I, I'm just a big fan of the, of the ARC hard baits. They're awesome. I love that, bro. Clear water. I think they're great. I really look at this subtle. One. This one's, yeah. I think that's actually what I noticed about it. It's not very really loud. It looks flat sided too, doesn't it? A little bit. Mm, I wouldn't say it's flat sided, but oh, okay. It's not as round as some. It might not be. Yeah, but I just I love them. Korean, the quality is that, amazing. That ghost transparent look too. Good for clear water. I like that. I'll use it till I lose it. Absolutely right, son. Good turn. Mm. I'm going to close my eyes when I do this. Oh, 
Oh, look. A vision jerk bait. Boing. The jerky 110. <clears throat> Sexy shad. <coughs> I don't use a lot of sexy are yours, shad. Are yours? Regional? Yeah. Yeah, it's regional. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Tennessee River. Uh, they probably, just basically probably around that. Shad. Yeah, probably. Um, the reason we're saying that is because we, we actually fish mostly smaller lakes, smaller lakes, state parks, stuff. With stained water. There's more like, it would be like more bluegill type patterns and minnows. But well, this you, is still cool. But past, still, past three videos, you've gotten sexy shad a lot, actually, I think. Haven't you got like three? Three boxes? Yeah, I have been getting a lot of sexy shad, but like I said, I think that's just due to like Tennessee River and some of the lakes and reservoirs here in Tennessee. I mean, that's just... Is what it is. I'm. I'm. I get the uh, the regional box, which I believe is for the south. Um, anyways, decent, decent little little jerk bait here. I don't use a lot of jerk baits. Um, that's just me personally. I've got a whole jerk bait rod and set up, but I just it's really not not my thing. I don't guess. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. One day I will. If we weren't so below average. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I was like above average. Maybe if we were just average. Right, yeah. I would take average. I would take average. I would, I would probably do better. That's the Ripper 110. Let's go. Right. Ripper, ripping lippers. Let's see. Oh, no, there was one. Yeah. You, you, how you, 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 you're like, what? Go ahead. Just go ahead. What? Just what? Go ahead. You're trying to pick a specific one because oh, you okay. already know what's I'm in sorry. the box. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I pulled that. <laughs> You do. You just. He already opened this box before in his own. I do. I have this box. And he, so he, he literally just felt around until he pulled the lucky strike oh, out. Oh, that's awesome. Rick Klun is a beast, dude. I'm super, Check that out. I'm super jealous. Mm. I got a sexy shad version of that. Darn. Dude. Yeah. What's that called? The lucky strike what? American original. Oh, man. That, that's, that's, that's a good color. I like that. I like that. That would do really well for our... Yeah, our that'll, that'll work for us. Our body's what do you water. think about that, man? Are you jealous or what? I am jealous, actually. Very. Mm -mm -mm. What's the depth on these? It looks like about 8 to 10 to me. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, model. Anywho. Yeah. No, I am super jealous. It's got like a blue because back that's... <laughs> The spark. It's just that I just don't feel it with the sexy shad. I don't like the sexy shad either. I don't, Dude, I, 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 I don't dig sexy shad. Your turn. Close your eyes. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> this isn't even fair. Okay. Some uh, three out hooks. Is that what they are? Three out? Yeah. Three out hooks. Now, the, I will say this these monster bat, bass hooks, they are really sharp. These EWG yeah. sharp uh, hooks they have, they're they're very sharp. I, I do like those sharp. I've actually never had any issues out of the any hooks. That wasn't monster fair. Bass. You go. I've never had any issues with the monster bass hooks that they provided. <clears throat> go ahead. <laughs> you, you know what you're picking. Yes, just the one I want. <laughs> the grande bass. This is a grande bass guy right here. I'm a huge square fan bill. Of this. If square bill's name wasn't square bill, it would be grande bass air rattler. <laughs> we would right. call him grande bass air rattler. Yeah, they have an entire line of um, of soft plastics that have these air tails in them, and so they float. And I know that Big Bite Baits has one. I'm not quite sure what the tail's made out of that one, but their tail floats. And I think they're great. And after one of the previous videos, we talked about how Z-Man, yeah, they float, but you can't store them with anything else. And so, you know, and really you can't leave them on anything that's got plastic. You can't, I mean, they I will not. I love that, dude. And they suck out the oils. They will suck out the oils of your of your soft plastic. The Z-Man stuff? Yeah. yeah. These are dope. These. So the, the tail is bulbous. You can actually put rattles in on the tail. But anyway, so the tail floats. So you could throw that on a shaky head, essentially. I guess this is for a Carolina rig. But you could throw it on a shaky head, and it, the tail would float. And it's just an amazing presentation. Yes. Although small fish will eat the tail off really quickly. But, man, it's just an amazing presentation. If I was tournament fishing, dude... 
I would have like six bags of these and just throw them all day if there was a hard bite because these I... just work. And that green pumpkin color, it's like actually green pumpkin. It's not like green, green. It's like that pumpkin seed color. I love that. Yeah, if you weren't wanting to use the uh, Z-Man products or that uh, um, freaking Big Bite Baits, because the Big Bite Baits does the same thing. This one's a lot more durable, so I'm a huge fan, fanboy. I like that. Yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. Grande bath. Great for shaky head. Good stuff for sure. I think that would work good on the Carolina rig for, for what this box is for. Mm -hmm. Whose turn is it? Mine? Your turn. Now I got the one on one. I'm going to close my eyes. It's like your eyes are shut. Oh, wow. Some more Z Man plastics. The elastic. Some more Carolina rigging stuff. Um, I've never seen these. Mm. The boar hogs. That's that's cool. California crawl. Very popular color. Mm, it's a cool looking creature. Absolutely, you could Carolina rig that. Um, I'm gonna Texas rig that. <laughs> uh, I'm not a big Carolina rigging guy. We fish shallow. Um, you know, and uh, I don't know a lot about Carolina rigging. I'll have to read up on it. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a deep water tactic, but um, to me, that's a that's a that's a Texas rig bait right there. I read the pamphlet. I think it's I want to say it's based off of our uh, catfish counterparts, and I realized that it worked for bass. Really? I think that's what that said. So here's your little Carolina rig kit. So it comes with a. Um, Slider weight or a barrel weight, whatever you want to call it. You've got a bead. You've got some some swivels, a couple beads, and uh, I guess that brass piece is made for, I don't know, to make some kind of noise, I guess. That's what yeah. that's for. It's pretty interesting. So you've got your, cool. your Carolina rig kit. You've got your hooks, and then you've got, obviously, your plastics that you would need to do that. They give you the literal hookup. If you're into Carolina rig. Yeah, I mean, that works. If you want to learn Carolina rigging, I think this is a perfect box for that. Um, that's cool. That, that absolutely will dip you off into Carolina rigging. And, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with it because I've never done that before. Hey, so I'm going to try it out. Yo, can't forget about this though. Bam. The sticker. The sticker you get every time. What's this thing? What is this? The original multifunctional seamless wear. Oh, it's a headband, dude. I think it's a neck pipe. Like yeah. A gator. You put this on you to keep you like cool or something. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Super cool. Decent box. I don't know. What do you think, man? What, what, what do you rate this box? Six and a half. Six and a half? Actually, no, I'm going to stick with six and a half, but yeah. because I gave the Grande Bass air tail. Love that, that. that that gives you the extra half, doesn't mm -hmm. it? The Grande Bass air Definitely. Tail. I don't know. I'm going to say... Oh, and then the arc bait. Oh, shoot. I'm a fan uh, of the arc bait. That's I'm cool. going to change it. Seven. I'm going to give it a seven because For I like my box boys. in particular, I like these colors. Those are great. I like the Grande Bass. I like the pamphlet. I think the pamphlet is so cool. The pamphlet is what's up, for real. That's um, cool. I don't like this. I'm not a fan, but yeah. you can't win them all. Um, these are decent. As far as like me being new to Carolina rigging, I don't. That's not something I like typically do. But I think this is a cool box. I think I'll probably go with. I'm gonna go with the six. I don't see myself using a deeper crankbait anytime soon, especially. I really thought that you'd rate higher than in April. Yeah, I mean, well, like these are dope for sure, but like I'm, I'm not really gonna be using those. Anytime soon, I don't feel like, as far as, like, April and forward. So I'm going to give it a six, for the, just because of the time of year that it came. Um, you know, it's a mixed box, so. It, well, it's good. It, it's decent. I dig so. it. Anyways. Anywho. That'll be it, you know, for this bag breakdown. Bag breakdown.